Hi, I'm Rich King with Rich King Real Estate and Keller Williams, and I'm really happy to show you my latest listing here in Northwood at 8626 East Boardwalk Lane uh, in Park Place, a private gated community, not a 55 plus, there are families in here. So come on in, let me show you around. Now, as you enter these private secured gates and enter into the Park Place community, one of the things that you'll notice right off the bat, how beautiful it is in here. All of the landscaping is done by a contracted uh, vendor. Uh, every resident in here pays a monthly association fee of $180, and that covers snow removal for the streets here and all landscaping in the fronts and backyards of everyone so you do not mow your own lawn in here. If you want to do your own gardening, you're more than welcome to do that, but they, uh, that vendor will take care of all of that, so really low maintenance for anyone in here. These homes were built in the 1980s, the late 1980s, and they all have views backing up to the uh, south end of town, so a really beautiful view over the Spokane Valley. Another great benefit that comes with living in Park Place is this community swimming pool. Absolutely beautiful pool with lots of uh, space around the edges for pool parties and just hanging out and enjoying our long warm summers. It's absolutely beautiful. And this is again a part of the $180 per month association fees. Another excellent amenity is the full-size regulation tennis court right next to the swimming pool where you can come on out, volley up some balls back and forth, get some exercise, or play some pickleball. It's just a beautiful facility in here. And there's the swimming pool right next to it. Look at these grounds. Isn't this beautiful here? And here it is, 8626 East Boardwalk Lane all the way up at the top end of Park Place community, perched up high up on the hill at the end of a private cul-de-sac. Uh, this is a beautiful 1987 rancher with a full finished basement. It's got three bedrooms, three bathrooms, and a den or study. And that, uh, uh, as a matter of fact, two of the bedrooms and the den uh, family room and kitchen all on the main floor. Uh, there's only two steps from the driveway up into the front door. So if somebody needed a uh, needed to build a, a ramp or something for a wheelchair or just quick and easy low impact access, really easy to do here. It's just a beautiful home. Let's take a look inside. Here we go. And as we enter, one of the things that you'll probably notice right away, how really open and, and just how high the ceilings are, the beautiful space that this, uh, this area here on the main floor encompasses. So the total square footage of this home is 3,131 square feet, and there's 1,649 square feet just on the main floor. So let's go ahead and take a look at it room by room. And as we walk right in the front door, we make a left. There's a little coat closet right here. And then the first full bathroom. Ceramic tile around the, the sink. Just wonderful lighting. Just beautiful tub and shower, newer, bath, or, uh, newer toilet. And as we come out the first bathroom, we turn left and we head right into the first bedroom. So this is once again, the characteristics of a legal bedroom or a window and a closet. So this faces the north, so excellent sunlight coming in here. Nice high ceilings, as you can see, those are about 12 foot ceilings up there. And great soft carpet, really feels really good under my feet. And then a double closet door right there. 
Walking out of that first bedroom, we make our way onto the hardwood floors and make an immediate left, and this is a den. Now it's got, it used to have French doors on this frame right here, but the owners took it out and kept this as an open den space here that they use for a family room to enjoy reading, talking, watching TV on a really large screen there. And once again, 12 foot ceilings. So it's just everything feels so uh, spacious and warm. The hardwood floors are in great shape. What a great room here. Could be a bedroom. Uh, it doesn't have a closet, of course, so you would have to have perhaps a portable closet in here, but this is uh, about twice the size of the room of the bedroom we just saw. Making our way out of the den, there's the staircase, and then we continue on into a more of a formal dining space, although it's not a formal dining room, it's not enclosed by itself. This is a dining space with the chandelier coming from the, once again, very high ceilings, about, about 12, 14 foot ceilings here. Just a really large room here. And as you can see that the shelf unit right there is inset in about a foot into the wall right there. So great use of the space right there. Hardwood floors and then Here's the, here's the meal ticket right here. It's the beautiful view out the back to the south overlooking the entire valley. And we'll have a look at, at that from the, uh, from the balcony, from the deck there in just a moment. But this is a great room. This is a uh, family room as well. Lots of light, vinyl windows, and a gas fireplace with tile. And that actually goes all the way through to the other side where there's an informal uh, dining area. And this wall, as you can see, goes about nine feet high. And then you've got a skylight and that's the kitchen on the other side of this wall. Uh, one person might love to just keep it like this. Another might uh, be open to giving up some cabinet space and opening this up a little bit more into this room. It's got some possibilities there. Now everyone knows that one of the most important rooms or features in any home is the kitchen. And this is a great kitchen. We've got tile floors, granite tile, countertops, oak, or actually I think they said they were maple. I'm sorry, I think they're maple cabinets all the way around, really great shape, tile backsplash. All of the appliances are LG, all black appliances, so really top of the line, nice appliances here. Double sink, refrigerator freezer side by side. Here's the door into the pantry right there. There's a walk-in. And then as you can see, it opens right up to tons of light from the windows overseeing the South Valley right there. But here's the little uh, space that they just use for an informal dining area. Fireplace right there, gas fireplace from the other side once again. And these aren't of the original hardwood floors, but they are a hardwood laminate. This was an interesting choice for the clients. They put a desk in here since the light and, uh, and kind of a gathering place for them. So they use this space for, for doing a little bit of, a little bit of work. Once again, a lot of light coming in from the skylight up above, right over top of the kitchen. What a great space. Let's have a look outside. As we come on out to the deck, the upper deck, one of the things that you'll know is that we've got um, hardboard siding that was just painted just a couple of years ago. So fairly fresh new paint on here, really great shape. Lots of windows and wow, this is amazing. Look at this view. 
That's uh, Arbor Crest Winery, clear up on the hill, straight ahead. And this, as you'll notice, is this deck goes out about 10 feet, and then it squares off and then runs the entire length of the house all the way down, turns right, and the master bedroom is down that end. So natural wood decking here that's been freshly painted as well, I think last summer, and a vinyl rail all the way around, but get a load of this. How would you like to wake up to this every morning? Come out, sit down on the back deck, have a cup of coffee, and just relax. It's dead calm. I can see the, the leaves moving right here on this tree, but I don't feel a, any kind of wind up here where I'm at. Let's continue on and have a full look at the deck back here. This is a sliding glass door into the master. So there's actually room right here for a hot tub easily. If a person wanted to put a hot tub out here, come out the, the master and just enjoy that from clear up, perched up here high. It's a really cool rock outcropping and all of these grounds right here. You do not have to spend a moment raking or pulling weeds or mowing or doing anything. The association takes care of that. Now as we come out the kitchen, once again we're coming into the more formal dining area and the family room. Into the front door den, bathroom, bedroom to the right. Let's head down and have a look at the laundry room, the garage, and then the master bedroom. This is right outside the door of the master bedroom. So once again, you've got LG washer and dryer. This is a part of the house as well. So offered with the price of the house, some cabinets. And then this takes us into the two car garage. Coming into the garage, just two steps down, you've got an automatic garage door opener, a two car insulated uh, door. And as you can tell, it's all finished inside here, insulated. Now this is a little mini here, but I paced this out and it's right about, I think it's, you know, 19 feet from the front end all the way to the door, roughly 19, maybe even 20 feet. Then definitely enough uh, space in here to park two cars side by side to be able to get out on the doors on both sides as well. So all the shelves are staying with the with the garage for the for the sale as well. Coming out of the laundry room, we make a right and come right into the master bedroom. We've got carpeted floors. Once again, very, very high ceilings. It's one of the consistent architectural elements of this home. It's high ceilings really spacious feel to them. You've got a glassed in, mirrored, rather double closet. That's actually a walk-in closet too. It's quite spacious as you can see with California closet organizers. again. Lots of light, southern facing windows, slider out to the deck that I showed you. Here's one of the components to this offer. Look what the, the sellers have done. They mounted, I think that's a 55 inch screen 
up there. It's a, is that a Sony? Aquos, no, it's a Sharp. It says a Sharp. That's mounted and it's staying. They're not planning on getting up there and taking it down. So that's thrown in with the, the house as well. Let's walk into the bathroom. Tile countertops, double sinks. Lots of great light from the fixtures there. Big mirror, huge soaking tub. So this is not a jacuzzi, so there's no uh, motors or anything like that you have to deal with. Just a nice big tub to sit and soak in. And we come inside here, it's a shower. And toilet, newer toilet. And a nice little sitting area right here next to the bed as you come out to the sliding glass doors that make their way out to the valley again off the deck. Now that's everything upstairs. Let's have a look down. Now we're walking to the lower level where there's 1482 square feet of living space. You'll notice that the first thing we do is we walk in to this room, which is enormous. Uh, I don't have the measurements, but this has to be 20 feet wide right here. And um, a lot longer than that, probably in another 25, maybe even 30 feet long. Uh, ceilings are about, I'd say, I'm 6'3", so a little bit more than seven feet. A Berber carpet is in really great shape, nice and clean and again, soft on the feet. Windows out to a back deck as well. There's a slider. Another deck space right here. And let's have a look at the storage room first. And as we enter into the storage room, I believe they're planning on leaving all of the shelves in place right here. It's concrete floor, it's finished as well. At least on the left side it is. This is uh, the foundation concrete on the right. Tons of light in here. Excellent space for storing. And as we come out of the storage room, we come into the bathroom. Again, it's a full-size bathroom, shower and tub, toilet, sink. Coming out of the lower full bathroom, we come into the one bedroom down here. And as you can see, this is being currently used as the moving staging area for the, uh, the owners of the home. But this is a really nice large bedroom. As a matter of fact, uh, next to the master, it's, it's definitely larger than both the den upstairs and the other bedroom. So really nice. Uh, windows to the south right there. And let's have a look here at the really large walk-in closet and what's behind there. And as we walk in, this is the walk-in closet for this room. It's absolutely huge. I've seen bedrooms in some newer construction homes that are about this size. But watch this. As we continue to walk in through this room, we find another door at the back of the closet so this is going to the north end of the home. And we're downstairs again, of course. So concrete floor, we walk into the mechanical room. So uh, these are tiered steps. It's about a, right here, it's about a foot and a half. That's about a three foot rise, and then about another foot and a half, and then going all the way to the back. It's a finished room, as you can see, sheetrock. Now they haven't painted it and things like that, but completely finished in here. Here's a tank that uh, it's a, a pressure tank for the water system so that it'll go more effectively um, throughout the house. Central vac, I think 
I forgot to mention that upstairs as we were looking around. And then, um, hot water heater in great shape. You can see the straps are already in place that are pretty much a requirement these days in appraisals. And then the furnace. This is a, a, a gas furnace. And it was just serviced by uh, Barton Boys and inspected and everything is good to go. More storage space. So just a great room for even more storage down in here. Well, that's it. That's uh, 8626 East Boardwalk Lane here in Northwood in Park Place, the private gated community. Once again, not a 55 plus. While most of the residents are uh, retired up here, there are several families that live here as well. Great amenities, beautiful, uh, Beautiful little neighborhood, well taken care of. People watch out for each other here and a view to kill for. This house is on the market for $395,900. And uh, if you'd like to see this home, please give me a call. And again, my name is Rich King with Rich King Real Estate and Keller Williams here in Spokane. And my number is 509-703-8187. That's 509-703-8187. Thanks for taking a look at this video. And please let me know if there's anything I could ever do for you.